Hello YouTube, welcome to the next Blender Game Engine Python tutorial and today I'm gonna teach you how to use several things in script and basically the main thing I'm gonna learn you is gonna be uh, object.getDistance2 so how do we do is just object get distance to and other obj object and we make it this so this would allow me for example if I take own and if I had a defined object called other I'd be able to test for object close after requesting Blender Artist, I'm gonna first teach you how to use it to count all the objects which are close to the player. So, I'm gonna make a new function for this just to make it easier to read. And it's gonna be def uh, count uh, close objects. Then we are gonna take in o object. We're gonna take in property. So object is gonna be key x game object. Uh, in this case, we're gonna use the property is gonna be string. Um, the name of property we're gonna test for. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's get in. What we must first check. We must first define scene. Scene equals object.scene this will get the scene which the object called in this function is currently in in this case is it is this tutorial to scene which I have created here so what I'm gonna do with this scene is we're gonna loop through all objects in the scene how, how it's simple we're gonna do four O in scene dot o object. This checks for all objects in scene and um and then you can do inside of this script any tasks with this object. So for example in this case we're gonna just do uh dist equals which refers to distance obg which is this defined object uh, dot get distance to and o next we're going to make if statement and it's very simple if this is smaller than and there here we're going to add another factor which is called distance if this is smaller than distance or smaller or equal to like this which means if it is smaller than this or if it is equal to this value then no there's one more thing and property in O now what this does um, all the KX game objects are actually dictionaries, which are like this. So, prop one mass zero point five ATC ATC ATC. So, um, we can check for anything if it is inside of dictionary like this using the in, and uh, in this case all the properties are part of the object dictionary so we can just use if the property is inside of object then we can execute and this and makes it check if this is true and this is true if you, we use or then it would be enough with just one of them being true but in this case we need both of them to be true and now we're gonna execute something for example we can uh, we can set 
as this is count close objects then we can use the uh, variable count sorry for the sound okay it was my cat which stepped on piano <laughs> okay let's continue so I'm gonna set this count to be zero and now for example here in the if statement I can add one to the count because in this case we have checked if the property which we are looking for is inside of object and if the, it has the distance I mean if the distance is small enough so if it is close enough and after the loop we are gonna get back in this line and we are gonna do return count now we can do for example where we can make variable here so for example uh, items around I'll make it integer and turn on debug and here I'm gonna set show debug properties now I'm gonna click it and control C and I'm gonna copy it that way then I'm gonna do own uh, items around equals count close objects now I'm gonna take in own which is owner I'm gonna take in item which is the property and I'm gonna take in five if it is five units close or closer now if I run it it's zero all the time I'm gonna check console and wait oh yeah objects um, it should still be zero now I for example add one cube scale it down a bit in this case this is gonna be rigid body item I'm gonna call it item actually and I'm gonna add simple material just for quick preview Um, no. I'm gonna make it black, absolutely black, with high specularity, like this, something shinier, quite a ball like this, which can be the item. Yeah, this looks good enough. Maybe a bit rougher. No, I can make it like this. One. I shouldn't waste the time. Yes, and I'm gonna add property item. I'm gonna make the integer and five, for example. It won't matter here. We have just the property, and when I run it, it is very quite one because it's close enough. And why isn't it, it falling down? I have no idea but and yeah so it at least works there but yes it's for some kind of reason flying there so oh something wrong with it um, okay who cares <laughs> and now if I duplicate it using all D Y2 and this is still close enough, so it returns to. And now I do all the Y4, and it is gonna be further than 5 units, so it still returns true. And now, now I'm gonna add another test. Here I'm gonna set it to 3, and here I'm gonna set it to um, 3 also. And I'm gonna gy minus two and gx minus four like this. So currently it returns three. Now maybe we want to test if the object has this property and it equals exact value. We can do this simple. For example, we can do 
it with if statement if o um, o property equals three. Now when we run it, we have just two objects because this object has property five, but those two has three. Also, we can test if the property is, for example, bigger than three. Then only one object, the one with five, has bigger. Or if we test if it is smaller or equal than all the objects with three, and here if we set two, then all the objects, all three objects, will return th uh, add one unit to count like this. So yeah, this is it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Um, if so, don't forget to press like, uh, subscribe, and leave comments for your own opinion. Thank you for watching.